Hey everyone, today I'm going to be seeing if I can make a rocket out of coke and canned air. So there's a method to make a rocket out of a coke can using butane. And I've had a lot of people ask me how the reaction works. What you see in these videos is they get a butane bottle and then they turn it upside down and then pour it in the coke bottle so that it's actually liquid butane pouring in there. And then as soon as they turn the coke bottle upside down, the coke bottle shoots up in the air. And I've had a lot of people ask me why this happens. What's the reaction happening there? And the answer to that is it's not actually a chemical reaction happening. All that's happening is the butane is expanding really fast and when the coke bottle is right side up all the gas can escape but as soon as you turn it upside down now the liquid is covering the opening at the bottom and so it shoots that liquid out really fast and liquid has a lot of mass so that has a lot of mass to push the force of the bottle the other direction. So basically you can make a mini rocket when you have some volatile fluid in the coke bottle there. Now the problem with this experiment is you have to use butane and butane is extremely flammable. So if you're around a tiny little spark doing this experiment, you're gonna get a big explosion. So I wanted to come up with a different method to do this same experiment with something much safer. These are just the multi-purpose dusters that you spray your keyboards with. Now this isn't actually air, it's actually difluoroethane. And what it does is it evaporates really quickly. So basically you can have a, a can that's full of the liquid and it lasts a long time because the gas just comes out of it. So it only needs a little bit of gas to expand. So you just have to put it under a little bit of pressure and it becomes a liquid. But as soon as you release that pressure, then it becomes a gas. So you can see you get a very cold liquid here. Looks kind of like liquid nitrogen, but not as cold as liquid nitrogen. You can see it's very cold, pour it on the ground, it immediately freezes. So it evaporates very fast. That's the reason it's freezing is because it's evaporating. So in our experiment with the coke, what we want to do is get that gas to expand fast. So basically all I'm going to do is turn it upside down and spray the liquid on the top of the coke there and it's going to make the coke really cold so it will get icy on top. And then when I get enough in there, I'm going to flip the Coke can upside down and that should plug up the bottom. It should build up pressure in the Coke can and the Coke can should shoot off like a rocket after that. Okay, so I've never tried this before. I think it will work. Let's see what actually happens. Whoa. <laughs> okay, let's get a first person view of this. <laughs> okay, so that actually worked really well. I noticed that it didn't quite work as well as the butane. With the butane, it seemed like all you had to do was turn it over and then it would shoot off. But with this one, you had to actually hit it against the ground and then it would shoot off. It had to build up a little bit more pressure, hit against the ground, and then it could take off. But still, you get a very powerful rocket going 30, 40, 50 feet in the air. And this experiment is much safer to do than using the butane experiment. The only caution with this is make sure you're in an open area and also it can cause frostbite. When that liquid gets on your skin, it's actually really cold. So it's a little bit dangerous to do still because you can burn your skin doing it. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video's out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.